Okay, everybody, um, I am using Avast Free Antivirus. This is the 2016 version, and the version it is 11.1.2241. Um, I have Windows 10 Home 64 bit. As you can see, this is my Windows 10 desktop. Okay, uh, at, when I upgraded this from the uh, another version I had of the vast free antivirus. I, I got this pretty little blue 2016 one. <laughs> and then a few days later, it installed without my permission this extension in my Firefox um, browser. And the extension that it installed without my permission is called a vast safe price. And I don't like that. And I read around and so far, I thought the only way to to get rid of the safe price extension that Avast installed without my permission was to simply disable it in my um, add-ons manager in Firefox. And the Firefox version I'm using is Firefox 42. Well, I found this little article on how to delete the Avast safe price. Um, extension from my Firefox and I'm going to show you how to do that okay <coughs> the first thing you're going to do is uh, you click on this little wheel here that's your settings and then you got um, a vast settings general active protection update registration tools troubleshooting and about a vast that's what uh, active update registration tools, troubleshooting, and this little thing again. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on the troubleshooting thing. And then you're going to take the check mark out of enable a vast self-defense module. And what that does is allows you to delete um, unwanted um, files um, f from inside the Avast folder. I'll show you. I know I'm not explaining it right, but just follow me here. Just take the check mark out of it. And then you click, and it'll give you this little warning. That's okay. Then you uh, click OK. And then this thing will pop up and you click Yes. It's just another warning. Just click Yes. And so now the def self defense thing is turned off. <coughs> now, <coughs> sorry, I still have this cough. Uh, next thing you're going to do is go into your Windows 10 search box here. You want to go here and you type in this PC. And then you're going to click on the first um, one at the top where it says this PC desktop app. And now you're going to go here, Devices and Drives, and you want to click on Local Disk C. Actually, double click on it. And then you see two program files. Uh, program Files 86, that's the 32 bit one. And then this Program Files here, that's the 64 bit one. You want to click on the 64 bit one, unless you have a 32 bit PC, then you click on the other one. But I have a 64 bit, so I'm going to click on this one. And then you'll see Avast Software. And the program files are uh, Avast Software. Double click on Avast Software folder. And there's another folder called Avast. Then you click, double click on that. And then you're going to scroll down until you see a folder called Safe Price right here. And you click on it once. Then right click, scroll down to delete. And as you can see, uh, I was able to delete it. And then you close this. And then uh, you minimize this because I'm going to show you something else later. And now you're going to bring it Firefox. And you're going to see that the. Okay, then you go to Tools. Excuse me. <laughs> You click on add-ons 
And as you can see, the a vast safe price um, is gone. The vast safe price extension is no longer there. It's, it's gone now. And you close everything. Come on. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to bring back your vast interface. And then you're going to go back to settings. Click on this wheel. And then you're going to go down the troubleshooting again. And now you're going to put the check mark back in there. And the reason why you want to do that is so that, you know, the vast can defend itself or something like that. You know, keep um, like viruses and that where for trying to attack it too much. So you want to really re-enable re that after you you're, you're done doing what you have to do. Put a check mark, and then you click OK. So now that's back to defending itself. I know <laughs> my vocabulary is funny, but anyway, this is how you do it, and it worked for me.